Hello, everybody. Welcome to Build Fly Go. So we've, uh, I think we're on week three or four of building fuel tanks, and we're pretty close to being done at this point. So you can see this is the last tank, and we're riveting the stringer that goes across the top, and then we're going to rivet the, um, there we go, yeah, the the bracket that uh, attaches the tank and stabilizes it against the fuselage, and coming up, uh, here we go, I'm making more um, fuel lines and vent lines and bending them and getting them flared and ready. Um, this is actually sort of fun, getting these getting these in place. It's, it's a little different from what we've been doing. So I'll do that, and then um, we're going to put the, yep, there we go, we're putting the bracket uh, on, there it is, uh, that goes on that side, and getting everything torque suit, I'm sorry, getting everything um, sealed over there, and then on this side we're closing it up, putting the rivets on, and then we can put this fuel tank aside for a day and rivet the... Uh, that small bracket on the left side there. Probably the, the upcoming day. We'll see what it looks like. But uh, so these tanks are almost done. Um, you'll notice that we haven't put the rear plate on it, right? It looks like it's open on the top uh, or on the rear side, I guess. Um, and that's because once you put that on, you're basically done with easy access to the inside of the tank. It becomes a bit of a nightmare to get in there. So we're going to do a leak check, which you're going to see a little later on in this video, where we're going to fill that up with water and see if there are any leaks. Um, for now, we're waiting for uh, these fuel tanks to... to have the pro seal uh, cure up on them and i'm working on some other side pieces oh here we go yeah we're getting ready <laughs> um, unfortunately there isn't a terribly good view of what's going on because it's right below the camera uh, but anyway while while we wait for things to seal up you'll see that i'm working on fuel uh, i'm sorry wing ribs and wing rib brackets and other little things like that um, so here we go the that tank we're putting toilet paper all over the rivet lines so that the any leaks will show up, and then I'm filling them up with water with a hose from the outside. 30 gallons in each tank. We're doing one at a time. And, uh, yeah, there we are. Um, that's food coloring, red food coloring. And uh, we're plopping 30 gallons of water with red food coloring in each one. And then when we're done, um, we drain the tank uh, effectively. And... Um, look for for leaks look for any little leaks or anything like that so the red tank uh which you just saw um we did find a little leak uh, right where the right below where the bracket goes it's a very common uh leak spot um i think vans even mentions it um so we cleaned that up and we added a bit more pro seal over there you can see the tank in the background and while everything cures up i'm um, working on some more ribs uh, there, I believe it's 14 or 15 ribs per side. They get modified a bit. They get brackets put on them. And there's a ton of deburring to do, right? These ribs are, yeah, here we go. We're putting the pro seal on. Uh, these ribs are, take forever. <laughs> so, and we're prepping the other tank to uh, get the water put in. All right, see you soon.